What's going on guys, this is Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at the Maya wearable gesture control armband from Thalmic Labs. Now from what I've seen on this product, it does seem a little bit gimmicky and they seem to be marketing this mostly for presentation use, however that's kind of boring, so we're going to see everything that Maya can do and just how useful it really is. Inside you'll first get the armband along with some sizing clips for tightening the fit. You also receive their website link for getting started as well as a micro USB charge and syncing cable and lastly the Bluetooth adapter. Taking a look at the armband, it is quite larger than you'd actually expect. It does come in two different colors, white or black, which is the one I have. So on the front of the device you can see the backlit Mile logo, which will indicate the connection status of the band. Below that is the LED charging light and on the bottom is the micro USB port. On the inner side you'll notice all the sensors which help to measure your forearm muscle contractions and if you look closely you can see the front area of the Mayo has slightly larger band lengths than on the back and that is because of the vibration motors in that area which help in delivering feedback. As far as what it's made of and overall comfortability, it is pretty much all plastic with a strong and flexible rubber material. You'll definitely feel the compression of it, especially if you have larger forearms, as it is recommended that you wear it just below your elbow for the most accurate results. So you probably won't want to be wearing this for long periods of time, but it's also not horribly uncomfortable, just something you'll end up taking off when you're done. So setting up the Mayo is a pretty easy process and you'll need either a Windows or Mac computer and what's interesting is currently the software is still in beta which does mean this isn't a completely finished product and is something to keep in mind. After the device has been calibrated, you can use it with a select few apps through plugins available in their marketplace, for example Keynote or PowerPoint if you wanted to give a presentation. The experience for me has really been hit or miss though, and I'm not sure if that's just because it's still in beta or what, but the more and more I played around with it, the more I started realizing this type of input device is really inefficient, especially with a computer. Even for giving presentations, it's much more simple and definitely more affordable just to use a smaller remote or even an iPhone or Android app, which by the way is a lot less noticeable than a band around the top part of your forearm with you making finger gestures in the air, and even if you're looking for a hands-free solution, the Mayo again doesn't always seem to be reliable running on that beta software. Trying to use this with anything else besides for presentations is literally a disaster. And you're not going to want to be putting this thing on anyways every time you want to watch Netflix or check your email. As a company, they seem confused as to what they want you to be using this for. The Mayo overall as an idea, I think, is a little bit too far ahead of its time as far as having wearable gesture control input on a computer screen as a product for the user isn't always accurate and ends up becoming a pain to use. In order for this to become more successful, they need to figure out what the best thing this could be used for and focus on making that one thing, whether it be for presentation use or playing video games, better and making the software really really good as opposed to releasing it in a beta. I think they also need to slim it down and make the design more lightweight, but spending $200 on this device right now just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because there are other more effective solutions out there and they don't require you to wear them, so again it's just hard to justify a reason you would actually want to get the Mayo. However, if you are interested in checking out more information about the Mayo, I will have links in the description. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to the channel as it really does help me out. Go follow me on twitter.com slash coaststormer. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.